Well, a mild March day all across the state from 40s and 50s in the western Maryland mountains to 60s to near 70 on the eastern shore down toward the coast. Baltimore downtown still clocking in at 69 degrees this hour. We did hit the 70 degree mark in many locations today, so a fairly nice March day with some sun and clouds mixed. The official high at the airport 70. That occurred at uh, 250 this afternoon. The morning started at 44 degrees, which you can see is quite a bit above normal. So we got off to a warm start in the morning and then boosted that temperature right up to the 70 degree mark uh, this afternoon. Fell six degrees short of the record, though. That goes back to 1974 on this day. Let me go back there real quick on this day. This two years ago it was six degrees. <laughs> That's a record low back to back record lows two years ago in March. So the 70 a whole lot more comfortable than the six degrees for sure. No rain today as far as uh, substantial amounts go. We did pick up two one hundredths of an inch of light precipitation for the month so far. We're just five one hundredths of an inch. We're already three quarters of an inch below normal just for the first week of March. And for the year to date, we're running two and a half inches below normal. You go back to last fall and the uh, the dry spell goes all the way back into the fall months and without any snow or big winter storms, some drought is beginning to develop across our region, moderate to severe in some locations as far as the uh, ground moisture goes across our region. Of course, the reservoirs still have a lot of water in them, but the soil moisture going into the big growing season of spring is kind of dry. A little rain would certainly help out. We've got some sprinkles showing up on radar up there in southern Pennsylvania, down in Howard and Montgomery counties. It looks like a few sprinkles trying to cut through the city right now. Not a bunch of rain associated with this weather pattern, but we're not done with it yet. The front is cutting across northwest Ohio now and down into the deep south where some big thunderstorms are rumbling. And as the front moves through tonight, our rain chances should go up. So we should pick up some wet weather overnight tonight, early tomorrow morning. But the front will be past us tomorrow. There's the warmest air out ahead of it. It'll cool off maybe a couple degrees, but really look at this. It's still fairly mild behind the front. 50 Chicago, almost 60 right now, Kansas City, Denver in the 50s. So we'll get another mild day or two, and then the cold up here will come roaring south. That's scheduled to move south going into Friday night. Saturday, we'll notice a big temperature drop when that happens. For now, though, we're hoping to get a little rain in this warmer air. Looks like some showers coming through overnight. Moves off the coast early in the morning, so a, a mostly sunny, breezy day tomorrow. And again, temperature's not too bad. As the colder air begins to march toward us, we'll start to see some rain and snow in northern Pennsylvania. That's Thursday evening. We're still on the warmer side of things, so Thursday won't be bad at all. But then late Thursday night going into Friday morning,